Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 68 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here once again. And uh, today we get to talk about, we've been doing, going through and talking about the various uh, mutations in ball pythons that have had tests developed. And today we get to talk about the first one that we did. Uh, we mapped on our own. Um, so that's cool. Um, as far as results going out, uh, we have, uh, once again, fast tests are going out pretty much every day, but I did warn you all that we are, uh, Allie is on vacation this week. So, so if your, uh, sheds happen to get to us this week, um, that we may, it may take three to four business days instead of the one to two business days. Um, so anyway, a little bit slower this week, but you still will have those fast tests back pretty quick. Um, and then let's see. So that's fast test, sex determination. Um, same thing. It's usually three to five business days. It may take us a couple days extra with Ali being gone. And then uh, the uh, panel tests are r running right now. We've started that process um, and I will be able to have results going out probably this weekend. I said last week it'd be late this week. It's going to be really late this week. It'll probably be over the weekend that those panel results will start going out and should all be there by Monday, uh, next Monday. Um, yeah, that's all I have for updates. Kayla, how are you doing? Hey, Ben, I'm doing great. Uh, I'm excited to see every time you mentioned that the panel tests are running like Y'all, if you get something cool in your panel tests, please take pictures and tag us on social media. I want to see what kind of what cool stuff's popping up in your collection. Um, but yeah, I'm doing great. Um, and, you know, as always, excited to be here. Um, so just to get some business stuff out of the way, uh, we do want to remind folks that with baby season here, if you've got bulk orders, please uh, let us know. Like if you're ordering 25 or more shed tests, send us an email. Um, email Sean here at raregeninc at gmail.com. Let us know. Um, and, you know, we'll see if we can get you an even steeper discount on that. And you can order it in advance if you're having a later season or, you know, just want to wait a little bit. So just so y'all know. But yeah, uh, I think that concludes our business stuff. Now we can um, get on to uh, our, our monthly-ish morph spotlight. So Ben, do you want to take it away on that? Yeah, so as we've talked about over the last few months when we've talked about these morph updates, these morph, uh, what we call it, morph, monthly-ish morph spotlights. Um, so we talked about Pied. That was the very first one uh, from the group in Canada. Mm -hmm. And then we had a whole bunch that were done by Dr. Hannah Sadell and, and her uh, her students that, that helped work with her. Like literally they were there. Such a cool idea. She wanted to provide an, a class opportunity where the students have the the chance to actively work on something that's going to make a difference for people. And so they got to see these tests that they helped develop actually get used in the industry. Yeah. And for so so that was all of the ball, the uh, yellow belly complex and the blue eyed Lucy complex. Um, but yeah, I think we've gone over the yellow belly complex so far and the uh, albinos. Um, also, um, including Ultramel. So those are the ones we've already talked about. Um, Blue Eyed Lucy, we'll talk about later because it came through later. But yeah, but yeah. So the first one that we we got to do uh, this was when we were working on this. This is a little over two years ago now. It's got, mm -hmm. I guess went up on being two and a half years ago. It was more than two and a half years ago when we started collecting samples. Yeah, um, the first one we focused on was Clown. And that was one that we knew, you know, Pied was a huge one that would help a lot of people. And we knew mm -hmm. Clown was another one that a lot of people would really appreciate that test. And so that's what we really dug in and focused on. And if you want to go to the next slide, we'll show what we found. So we do have just one single mutation and still to date, all of the tens of thousands of tests we've done and the other people that do the genetic testing as a service, um, that's all any of us have ever seen is just one, one mutation that happened in the wild that uh, got sent over and, and bred. And so all of the clowns to date that I know of all match this, this one snip. So, so that's I love when it's cool. nice and easy. <laughs> I wish they were all that way. Oh yeah. All right. And so. lots of uh, familiar faces really helped contribute to uh, making sure we can get this off the ground too. Um, so yeah, 
you know, early on, it was about two and a half years ago, I was able to go to Justin Kabelka's uh, Canova, I was able to go and, and spend the whole day pulling sheds. And lots of those were either clown or heck clown. Yeah. Uh, Patrick McKnight from McKnight Stables, now Chimera. He uh, was very instrumental helping with the the first big extractions and getting everything processed and, and ready to go for sequencing. Um, GCR reptiles, obviously they helped a lot with Azanthic. They also sent some clown stuff early on. Uh, Will Banks sent some sheds and I like it. I hadn't seen that new logo yet. Kayla found that. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Linus Whitaker from Out of the Box Creations sent stuff very early on. I was talking with him um, over the years. And then as soon as we started doing this work, he sent a bunch. Matt Byram sent a bunch. Uh, Bob's Balls. Just so nice. So many people. Um, Travis Wyman sent stuff. Um, and then, Hi, Travis. Had, yeah. Thank you, Travis. And we had some really helpful uh, local people that, and, uh, that also helped provide sheds and then uh, BK morphs Ben let me come and even do scale clips but Dave Dunn and from ball in hand and Tyler from VA morphs they were all very helpful and then uh, Yampy yard there that's Agni and she uh, was the first to go through the process of filling out paperwork to to do the CITES to be able to send a bunch of sheds over from Europe so that was very cool of her I know that was a lot of work and cost yeah. uh, all the way from went- Finland yeah, she wanted to be helpful and make it happen. So, so once again, thank you all of you that that helped out. This was very early on, and uh, they were trusting that they weren't wasting their time. So, I'm very glad that they were willing yes. to do that. I think it's definitely definitely rewarded tenfold for everybody involved here. Oh, yeah. um, and of course, uh, we were talking about how many sheds, clown sheds, we've run at this point, and it's probably thousands at this point. Oh, it's definitely tens of thousands. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah. We've done a lot of clown tests. And then obviously every panel we run has got clown in it too. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Lots of clown tests and mm-hmm. uh, been a, a great test. The only reason it's not an A+, plus, which those of you that have seen others like this know, that's just because there's not a publication out yet. So yep. whether that's us or somebody else, uh, a lot of the time it, it'll be other groups that we'll get to the publications before we do. Um, but if it's not done, uh, eventually we'll we'll start publishing some of these as well. So yeah, and that's but part yeah, of the reason now, we don't have as many like visuals and like details on exactly where it is, just because we don't want to step on any toes publication wise. Um, but we do know that it can say that it is a snip and it is a grade A test. Yes, it's an excellent test that's helped a lot of people. Awesome. Um, Oh, uh, here, Ben, do you want to take it away with this or do you want to like preface this part? Yeah. So what I was going to say about this is we, uh, have, have started to reach out and, uh, and sponsor several creators and also breeders that, that go work hard at, at, uh, tables at shows every weekend or multiple, you know, many weekends a year. Um, We're very thankful for people that put out really, really good content and do do the work. I I think a a huge thank you needs to go out to the people that maybe they're not on social media or YouTube, but they're at shows all the time, letting kids hold animals. They're talking about, you know, why they love this. That's such a huge contribution to to the hobby. And and a lot of them, maybe they're more old school, or maybe they just, you know, don't want to mess with the social media, but they're out there all the time driving every weekend, they're packing up and driving and So then, uh, and the very first people that we sponsored were actually Leviathan Snakes. And we're very thankful. They actually reached out with, with the idea to, to work together. And we, we've been able to talk a lot with Steven and Courtney, very thankful for all that they're doing and have really helped us a lot in learning about marketing and, and sponsorships. And he's, you know, many of you that have, been to shows they also are at shows all the time and mm-hmm. really doing lots to contribute so we're very thankful to have them as as uh, someone that we're able to sponsor and also talk about because they're doing awesome things for real um let's see uh they've actually started a like probably in the last month or two i think have started a, a partho live stream uh segment where um courtney and 
I don't remember the other ones. Well, uh, Courtney and Leviathan Snakes um, brings guests on. Molly. And Molly. Yes, Courtney and Molly, uh, which is therefore the Partho joke, because it's just the girls who are, um, uh, they bring folks on and they have a, an awesome talk about what they do. Um, and it seems like it's a really fun live stream. I haven't watched them yet, but I definitely want to check it out because they, Leviathan Snakes puts out amazing things all the time. Like they're, it looks so professional. Um, so yes. looks like a lot of fun. Yes. And then their, their YouTube channel itself is it, 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 many of you that are watching this have already seen it. Oh yeah. But, yeah. Their, their YouTube ja channel is extremely high quality. I think mm -hmm. we have a, a screenshot of, of that as well. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so they have very high quality videos and the specific audience that they really do a good job of serving are, are new keepers and breeders, people that are looking into uh, becoming a, a breeder or keeper and those that have been doing it for a little while. And then specifically with a focus on business and marketing. So mm -hmm. that both Stephen and Courtney are, are very, very good with that and understanding yeah. what's going on. They put a lot of work into knowing who's doing what and, and being able to connect people. And it's just a, a really, really great service to everyone all around. Um, and so their, mm -hmm. their YouTube channel, uh, we're just on what, what you'll find there is, um, as you go through and see the the videos they they post a lot of the time they're very focused on helping you understand business decisions and you know the the one they have there panic pricing and so you know things yeah. that you really really do want to do and things that you want to avoid as you're just getting into ball python breeding it's a it's a excellent source for that yeah plus establishing an already like uh navigating an already established market with the ball python breeding world especially just getting into it as a new keeper can be really intimidating so they kind of break it down in a way that's easy to understand so i uh really they're they're doing the good work for the hobby so just uh so glad that we can have them or that we could sponsor them uh and plus their projects that they work on on morph market like if you follow any of their social media they're pictures and videos are phenomenal they work with sunsets uh asphalts or asphalt or gravel i think that's asphalt, asphalt. Yep. yes um and i mean just look at these animals they're gorgeous those busy patterns are amazing um and of course clown yeah mix some clown in there too just like we talked about today oh yeah and they've got like a really pretty mystic potion project um i didn't get to include a picture here but they have some really cool stuff um and on their morph market, they've got a nice five star account. Um, and, uh, you know, you can see some of the animals that they have uh, listed there, plus some of their collection that you can see that they're raising up to bre be future breeders. Um, hi highly recommend. Yes. Oh, and they've only been on there since 2021. They've done so, honestly, I don't know if they have the name Leviathan, but they should have been just like Sleeping Giant. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're. They're doing such cool stuff. So they really so. are a, a very positive, uplifting, and high quality contribution to the ball python community, and and then mm -hmm. also YouTube as well. Yeah, absolutely. So speaking of um, projects that they're into and people who do it, put in the work visiting shows. Um, one project that they're working with is with um, Redline Shipping, which a lot of people use to ship their reptiles. Um, and they are, well, actually here, I'll play the video for you and let it speak for itself.
us. So they're they're the ones back. I think it was about the first of the year. They did the 15 minutes. Uh, it's mm -hmm. really like a documentary, very, very high quality, talking about cool things happening in the ball python community. And this is another one that's coming out soon. I think uh, I think they said it's coming out in like a couple of weeks, I think just a little before Daytona. So yeah. Yeah, very cool. I'm very excited to see any any high quality videos they do. Uh, they really are like little documentaries and they're they're awesome. Yeah. And so they're basically going to be going out to these shows and highlighting the pe highlighting each of these keepers who are putting in the good work at these shows. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they do with it. They always do wonderful work. So um, um, definitely check it out. Also, just like they have the drone footage in there and you can see him in his his nice red red car. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, yeah. um, so cool stuff. Um, and of course, we always have our uh um, our shed donor shout out to top off the episode this time. It's John. Is it Chalsmer? Uh, I believe so. John, you'll have oh. to correct us if we say it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John can bully us if we mispronounce that. Um, but he sent us like 200 boa sheds. Um, this picture is only a small, like just a small snippet of what he sent to us, but we got so like that much closer to developing boa morph tests. Um, because yeah. of his um, contribution. So this is super cool. Um, I'm honestly, I'm like, as of recording today on Monday, I'm probably going to make a social media post about it. So you may be hearing about this for the second time, but this is <laughs> amazing. We love it. Yes. Thank you so much. We really, really can't say it enough. We cannot do it without you all helping. And this, this was a big step in making BOA tests happen. So thanks. Yeah. John. Awesome. Um, and he go, go check out his morph market. He has uh, oodles of boas and some really, really nice ball pythons on there too. So highly recommend checking him out. I've got a screenshots of three, just three animals that he has listed there. Um, really, really cool stuff. Thank you, John. Um, and you know, if you're, if you've been sitting on some sheds, uh, thinking about shed, shed, shending them in, uh, <laughs> do so this is your sign <laughs> yeah send them in we'll put them to use oh yeah all right and i think that's all we got for today you got um anything else ben that's it thank you for watching thanks for being here and please do support with you know like subscribe and comment let us know how we're doing and what you'd like to see we we love seeing all that we read comments and and reply to most if not all of them yes all right well thank you guys um and yeah, if you get panel tests and you find something cool, let me know in social media. Tag us. We'll share it. All right. Thank you, guys. And we'll catch you next time. Outro in three, two, one.